God, right? Because the Catholic Church, I'm going I'm to I'm put, put you up on something. The Catholic Church put the money behind your oppression. The, what's the difference between a Native American and a Mexican? Y'all were both native to this land. They just labeled you Mexican, they labeled them Native American, labeled them Puerto Rican, labeled them Dominican, labeled me black, African American, labeled them Haitian, labeled them Jamaican. Who were they before they got the labels? We were those people. That's right. Bring it out. We were them. That's who our people were. The 12 tribes of Israel. If y'all read the Bible at all, you read about the Israelites. You wonder why they got us oppressed because we hate each other. We don't realize that we one big old family. Right. That's why we hate each other the way we do. Hey, bro, can I ask y'all a question? Y'all Mexicans, come build with me for two minutes. Just, just give me 60 seconds of y'all time. I want to show you the image. Yeah. yeah, you. You my brother. Mi hermano, right? What's your name, bro? Yeah. Miguel, what's your name? Okay, Miguel and Kevin. So you got a regular Mexican name. You got a, another name. Y'all both Hispanic? Yeah. What religion y'all follow? Damn. How did I know that? How do we know that everybody follow the Catholic Church? Why do all the Mexicans follow the Catholic Church? I don't know. You don't know? This why. This why. It was forced on your people in slavery. That's why y'all follow the Catholic Church. Keep it a buck with me. I want y'all to be honest with me. What are they doing to the little boys in the Catholic Church right now? You don't know. Teaching them about Jesus? Who is this right here? Who is that? Who, is, who in the world say that is? They say that's Jesus Christ, right? He's a Christos, right? Let me Revelation chapter 1. Y'all believe in the Bible? Yeah. So you my brother, so I'm going to show you the Bible. My name is Joe, by the way, J-O-B. Kevin and Miguel, watch this. Because we believe in God, right? Because the Catholic Church, I'm going I'm to I'm put, put you up on something. The Catholic Church put the money behind your oppression. The, what's the difference between a Native American and a Mexican? Y'all were both native to this land. They just labeled you Mexican, they labeled them Native American, labeled them Puerto Rican, labeled them Dominican, labeled me black, African American, labeled them Haitian, labeled them Jamaican. Who were they before they got the labels? We were those people. That's right. Bring it out. We were them. That's who our people were. The 12 tribes of Israel. If y'all read the Bible at all, you read about the Israelites. You wonder why they got us oppressed because we hate each other. We don't realize that we one big old family. Right. That's why we hate each other the way we do. If the Mexican do something, you're going to see the Chinese man do it. If the black man do something, you're going to see the white man do it. We sag our pants, everybody want to sag their pants. We wear do-rags, everybody want to wear do-rags. Why does the whole world follow us? I'm going to show you. Because of who you are. You ain't Mexican, you ain't Hispanic or Latino. You an Israelite, you God's chosen people. That's right. Free. Yep. The book of Revelations have the word in verse one. I appreciate y'all taking the time out. This is the most valuable information you're gonna ever hear. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of who? Of Jesus Christ. So the revel word revelations mean the revealing of Jesus Christ. Because back at that time, Jesus Christ was a real man that walked the earth. Jesus Christ was a real man that walked the earth. People seen Christ. So this is John the Revelator. He's seen Christ. Start at verse 10. Remember, we read in the Bible, read. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John was in the spirit on the Lord's day, which is today the Sabbath. Today is the Sabbath on. The day of rest. We're not supposed to be buying or selling today. That's y'all customs and y'all religion. That's y'all heritage. That's what we supposed to do as a people. But what are we doing instead? We out here buying. We out here getting ready for Halloween. And we know it's satanic. Right. Halloween is satanic and devil worship. Right. That's what it is. Y'all got to stop looking. Y'all got to start looking up the origins of these things. Look up the origin of the Catholic Church and what they did to your people, bro. When y'all walk up and down these streets, just know your forefathers' blood and bones is buried under these streets. That's right. Your people's blood and bones is buried under these streets. Guess who they got the money from? The Catholic Church. Read. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day uh -huh. and heard behind me a great voice. So John was in the spirit on the Sabbath and he heard a voice behind him. He like, what? He turned around, read. As of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega. So Christ was speaking behind John. He said, I am Alpha and Omega, read. The first and the last. The first and the last. What thou seest, write in a book. So Christ told John to do something because guess what? Christ knew that in these last days, the blacks and Hispanics wouldn't know who they were. We'd be walking around calling ourselves Mexican, Hispanic, and Latino. I'd be walking around calling myself black, colored, Negro, African, African-American. Which one is it? Read. 
And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So somebody told John, I'm about to tell you, I'm about to show and tell you something. Write it down in a book. Why? Because in the last days, we wouldn't be able to go knock on Moses' door and say, Moses, I need help. So God said, put it in a book. This is your history book. Your history book. This Bible was written by so-called black and Hispanic people. It was taken away from us by the white man, and we were forced into slavery. But this Bible is the history book of your people. Read. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So he turned around to see who was that that said that. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So he saw an image of seven golden candlesticks. Oh, seven golden candlesticks like the menorah right here. He saw this. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So in the midst of those seven golden candlesticks, the menorah. Come listen. Read. One light unto the son of man. Who is the son of man? Who do they call the son of man? Another name for who? Jesus the Christ. They called him the son of man. Because they like to make y'all think that Jesus Christ was born of an angel. No. Jesus Christ had a father named Joseph. His father and mother had sex and they had a son. His name was Jesus the Christ. It's not that deep. You, if you believe that an angel came down and stuck its penis in a woman and she didn't explode, you, you're sadly mistaken. But they call that immaculate conception. That's, in a, that's what the Catholic Church like to teach it. It's not reality. It's not real. Joseph was a real man that walked on the earth. He had a wife named Mary. They came together. They had sex. Bam! They had Jesus. Guess what? Jesus had brothers and sisters too. Jesus had brothers and sisters. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one light unto the Son of Man. So it's talking about Christ. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he had a garment on down to the foot, like what you see here. This is what we wore back then. We wore our garments with our borders of blue and fringes. Read. And girt about the belt with a golden girdle. A golden girdle. He had a belt like this, but it was gold. This is Jesus the Christ. Read. His head and his hair. So when John turned around and he seen Christ, he looked. He said his what? His head and his hair. You see that brother right there with the blue sweater on right there? He said his what? His head and his hair. He said his head and his hairs, the hairs on his head, were white like wool. Were what? Were white like wool. Look at his head. You see the nappy hair? They call it nappy. That's the hair that Jesus Christ had on his head. That's right. You see this hair right here? What is wool? What is wool? What do you see wool at? What animal has wool on him? Sheep. What hair looks like a sheep hair? This looks like a sheep hair. Wool. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. But his was white like an old man, like an old black man got old gray hair. His was all white, read. As white as snow. And it was white as snow. And his eyes. And his eyes. Were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Check this out. This is what they're talking about when they said his eyes. His eyes wasn't red because he smoked weed. Christ drunk wine. You know why Christ, Christ drunk wine? Because he had to deal with a rebellious black and Hispanic nation of people. He was stressed out. Look at our people, the so-called blacks and Hispanics. We the most craziest destroyed people on the earth. The white man would take a land from you and you would love him, but you would hate another Mexican because he thought he wear another color. You would look at a black brother that's getting oppressed just like you and you don't want to kill him, why? Because his skin is dark. So-called Mexicans, they look at black skin as this is an evil thing. This is the shield that God gave us to be able to be in the sun. This is why we don't get skin cancer. Right. The white man say he's from Israel. The white man couldn't last six months in Israel without getting cancer. This Bible was written by your people. Before the so-called Spaniards, Hernan Cortez and all them came over here and conquered your people, you was black as I was, bro. Sad reality. No, you might hate it like, no, no, dirty negro, dirty negro. No, I'm just messing with you, bro. But read it again <laughs> for the top. His head and his hair were white like wool. So he turned to see Christ. He said his head and his hair were white and it was woolly in texture. Read. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And he had red eyes because he drunk wine. When you drink a lot of wine in moderation, the whites of your eyes turn red. Read. And his feet. And his feet. Let me ask you a question. Because John looked and he saw Christ had the sandals on him. He saw the teeth. He looked up and seen his head and hair, and he looked down and seen his feet. And he had the sandals on him. He said his feet, read. Let me ask you a question real quick. Is the top of your feet the same color as your hands and face and all of that? The bottom might be different, but the top of your foot is the same color as your skin, right? Yeah. Right? So he looked down and he saw the top of Christ's feet, read. And his feet, like a divine brass. Like what? Like a divine brass. What color is brass? It's a, it's a brown. You got gold in it. Brass is like a penny. It's like a brown, a dark, let me see, like that. Like that copper right there. 
That's what it is. It said his feet, read it again. And his feet like a divine brass. Fine brass is burnt brass, read. As if they burned in a furnace. As what? As if they burned in a furnace. So he seen Christ's feet and he said that his feet looked was brown, but dark brown as if it was burned in what? As if they burned in a furnace. If I take anything and burn it in a furnace, what color does it come out? What? Black. When they saw Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was a black man. Just think about this. Jesus Christ, Israel is in Africa, Northern Africa. Who's in Africa? Uh, our people are. But let me ask you another question. Uh, let me show you another thing. Your people were as well. If y'all ever go to South America, look it up. They got pyramids in South America. Why do they have pyramids down there? Because the same way that your people built up pyramids here in America, your forefathers were the same slaves that built the pyramids up in Egypt. That's right. That's what our people did. That's the work of your forefathers. So I'm trying to I'm trying to tell y'all something. In these last days, y'all gotta wake up out of sleep. Y'all gotta wake up and stop following for stuff that people tell you and not research it. You gotta start doing a diligent inquiry of the stuff that you read about. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord!